Dependency injection frameworks fill dependencies using an inversion of control container. As the developer, you have to tell the framework how to fill these dependencies by adding binding statements to the container. In Zenject, this is done through installers. Installers give you access to the container, which you can use to define your bindings. If you aren't yet familiar with binding statements, be sure to check out my other video in this series that covers the topic. To create an installer, simply subclass one of the three built-in installer classes. Installer, Mono Installer, and Scriptable Object Installer. Then, override the install bindings method. The simplest way to create an installer is to subclass the installer class. Then, have it reference itself as a generic argument, so the base class can define a static method that exposes it. This makes the installer much easier to reuse. You can also add parameters by including more generic arguments. While this is the simplest type of installer to use, it's also the one that you'll probably use the least. Mono installers are just like base installers, except that they're mono behaviors under the hood. This means they can be attached to game objects and added to the scene. They're the most commonly used type of installers because their properties can be modified directly from the inspector. This is great for referencing objects in the scene and adding tuning data. Scriptable object installers are just like mono installers. Their properties can be edited from the inspector, but they have all the benefits that come with Unity scriptable objects. Changes made in play mode will be persisted, making them great for holding tuning data that you can adjust during runtime. You can also create multiple variations that can easily be swapped out. Both base installers and scriptable object installers are very easy to reuse. Base installers are exposed via a static method, and scriptable object installers are saved as assets. But how do we reuse mono installers? There are three ways to reuse mono installers. In-scene prefabs, prefab installers, and resources. Mono installers must be attached to a game object. I usually attach my mono installers directly to the scene context game object. But if you want to reuse a certain mono installer, you can attach it to its own game object. And then create a prefab out of it. Multiple scenes can reference that prefab. and even override properties for scene-specific configuration. Another way to reuse mono installers is to reference your mono installer prefabs directly in the prefab installer field of the scene context. This helps to keep your scene hierarchy tidy, but you lose the ability to have scene-specific configurations. Lastly, you can reuse mono installers by placing them in the resources folder. then loading them from another installer with the install from resources method. In this case, the mono installer will have to pass itself as a generic argument to the class, just like we did with base installers. And just like base installers, you can also include arguments. Each type of installer has its own set of pros and cons. In smaller projects, you may only ever need to use a single mono installer. While in larger projects, you may need an installer for each subsystem, and then some. Either way, knowing your options will enable you to make the best choice for what's right for your project. To join the conversation about Zenject or any other programming topics related to Unity or game development, feel free to join us on our Infallible Code public Discord server. Link in the description. Also, please subscribe with notifications on, like this video, and leave a comment.